study of the Metroclip system in Europe. So, good morning. Um, it's a pleasure for me to present data from Access Europe Phase 1. Um, first of all, I would also like to introduce my uh, co-PI, Francesco Maisano, from the San Raffaele Institute um, in Milan, Italy. Um, I haven't seen him in the audience. Perhaps, perhaps he was stuck in the morning traffic, but um, initially intended to come. So, um, Access Europe is a um, post-market study of the mitral clip system for the treatment of significant mitral regurgitation in Europe, and I will present analysis of outcomes at one year. Um, the registry was sponsored by Abbott Vascular, and I have to disclose that I, that I uh, received lecture fees and honoraria from Abbott Vascular. Mitroclip is a catheter-based system for the treatment of severe mitral valve regurgitation by clipping together the leaflets of the mitral valve at the um, um, origin of the regurgitant jet, creating a double orifice like you can see here. And this technique um, is mimicking the double edge repair technique of the Italian surgeon Ottavio Alfieri. Um, here you can see baseline characteristics of the patients. Um, on the right column, the Access, Access Europe cohort is um, displayed. Um, 567 patients have been enrolled. For reason of comparison, um, also the um, baseline characteristics of the Everest cohorts um, are shown. On the very left column, you see the um, characteristics of the patient um, of the mitral clip arm that have been randomized um, versus surgery. And in the middle column, you see the Everest 2 high-risk surgical cohort, which um, are patients who were screened for eligibility for the randomized part, but could not be enrolled because they were at too high risk for surgery. The major main difference between the Everest cohort and the Access Europe cohort is that um, Everest has been done in a non-commercial setting, whereas um, Access Europe has been performed in a commercial setting. That means Access Europe displays a real-world cohort of patients and shows what is currently done um, in daily routine practice in Europe. And as you can see, patients in Access Europe were considerably older than in the randomized cohort of Everest 2. They presented with abundant comorbidities, and the vast majority of patients, 85%, presented with severe symptoms of um, end-stage heart failure according to NYHA functional classes 3 or 4. This is reflected by a high logistic Euroscore, which reflects surgical risk. Um, it is 23% in this cohort. This table shows site reported safety events at three days in the Access Europe cohort. Um, in the left column, you can see um, the safety events in all patients. Uh, mortality at 30 days was 3.4%, which, um, which is low given the high risk nature of the patients. Also, um, other side reported adverse events were low, um, the most uh, frequent of which were moderate to severe renal failure with 4.8% of patients and severe bleeding complications with 3.9% of patients. Um, in the other columns, um, we have stratified the safety events according to logistic Euroscore, um, which means according to um, surgical risk. And as you can see, the um, event rates were higher in the high-risk um, group, but were still low. Please keep in mind that these are um, low numbers um, um, in total, and for, for this reason, p-values um, do not necessarily mean that there were no um, differences because with low event rates, um, statistics tend to be negative. So, so far I have shown you the safety results and um, I have shown that the procedure was very safe, of, although the patients were severely symptomatic, presented with heart failure symptoms, um, a high proportion of patients had high risk and abundant comorbidities. Now what is displayed here are efficacy results. And um, the left upper um, 
bars show the degree of mitral regurgitation. At baseline, the vast majority of patients presented with an MR um, grade 3 or 4 plus. And after one year, this could be considerably um, reduced. MR grades at one year um, were, one, were, were two or less in 79% of patients. This was also reflected by a significant increase in um, NYHA functional classes by a significant improvement. At baseline, the vast majority of patients um, had severe heart failure symptoms um, of uh, functional classes 3 and 4. Um, after one year, 71% of patients were in NYHA functional classes 1 and 2. This was also reflected by a significant improvement in the, um, in the quality of life. We used the Minnesota Living with Heart Failure um, score to um, analyze the quality of life of these patients. In this score, a lower score means a better quality of life. And as you can see, there was a significant improvement in the score um, that reflects quality of life at one year. Um, the last bar graph shows um, an increase in functional capacity of the patients at one year. Um, these are six-minute walk test distances. And as you can see, six-minute walk test was significantly impaired at baseline in these patients. And after one year, there was a significant improvement in nearly 60 meters um, by these patients, which is considerable. I conclude. The mitral clip procedure provides significant clinical benefits to patients with severe MI in a real-world setting consistent with results in controlled clinical trials. The mitral clip therapy therefore provides a treatment option for a patient population with an unmet clinical need. Thank you for your attention.